I used to believe that life was random chaos, and we stumbled and plotted our way from birth to death with no true answers to the questions we asked. I grew up through my twenties seeking a greater question and answer that were always elusive. <laughs> then last year these dreams came to me, my dreams of walking. Why? I don't know. I still don't know, but I've come to believe that life isn't that random chaos that I once believed it to be. I'm not saying I know all the answers, or even that I truly comprehend the questions, but I now believe there is a grander scheme of things. Its mysteries keep me intrigued, and my beliefs keep me content. I know now that I really know nothing, and in this I may have found a sort of wisdom. Now I feel at ease, even though I'm wandering down the road, I'm not lost. Even though no one is here on this journey with me, I feel a presence that gives me hope. I know my destination, and the steps in between will be my adventure. These dreams came to me to get me going in the right directions, and you will lead me home. Why walk? On the road, there are so many enlightening moments. Lots of thought processing goes on in the mind of travelers as they are in motion. For a walker, there is no exception. I walk seven to eight hours on a daily basis, but this is an extreme. The truth behind walking is to use it as a means to seek the divine. We begin our journey by looking all around us, trying to discover the sacred in everything we meet. Then bit by bit, the landscape transforms. Time seems to stand still, and slowly we begin to construct a world whose main protagonist is the divine. What is your idea? To recapture that deep and liberating concept that says that I am not this body, that I am my soul, the spirit that is inside my body. When the recovery of these principles is achieved, we are ready to obtain deeper and long-lasting relations. And then there is another principle called grace. It's something we have not deserved nor perhaps desired. It appears to be an unearned favor. Sometimes we must beg for this grace. Let me correct myself. It might be a good idea to always beg for grace. No matter where I roam, I walk inside your 